And of course, healing and trauma is a complex thing to understand. Mm. But if you could say one thing to non-Indigenous communities, whether it's Canadian, Australian or other parts of the world, practically that they can do to build their understanding, what do you think it would be? Gee, that's a small question. I know. Yeah, one thing. (laughs) What I would say is that um, trauma is not owned by Indigenous people. Trauma is a human construct. And there has been traumatic things that have happened across the globe, certainly in Canada to many different people. Uh, One of the powerful things that we have done in the past is um, run the National Day of Healing and Reconciliation. And certainly we focused on the Indigenous experience of historic trauma. But then we would talk about things like, um, you know, the Chinese head tax and what happened to Japanese people in our country and what happened to Ukrainian people. And there were policies, uh, colonial policies that affected different groups of people. And one of the things that we've done is said, let's talk about our experiences with trauma as just a human construct, human to human. And if we can find that kind of common ground of how it is, it's affected us and how it's affected our children and, and our grandchildren, maybe from that collective common ground understanding, we can move forward. So I, don't, I think that we just have to um, unpack some of the colonial assumptions about Indigenous people that stops the average non-Indigenous person in Canada from recognizing, um, having that, that, that feeling of empathy, common ground, that's what I would say. It's this. Let's not make this an indigenous thing. It's a human thing. 